Today, Glenn Merrill, I am making kale chips. Kale is packed with nutrition, including vitamins C and K. It's good for the eyes, liver, and digestion. It has antioxidants and may help prevent cancer and much more. You will need kale leaves, almond butter, extra virgin olive oil, garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, cayenne pepper, and salt. I didn't have cayenne, so I substituted red robin seasoning. Didn't have garlic powder, so I used garlic salt and eliminated the salt. Preheat your oven to somewhere between 200 and 250 degrees. Given our climate, I started seedlings indoors in February. They did really well. The first thing was to cut some kale leaves from the indoor pots. I took leaves from each pot to try to thin the plants a little. I rinsed them, I dried them, and now they're ready to make the seasoning. So now we're going to mix all the parts. We're going to do two tablespoons of almond butter. We're going to do one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to do half a teaspoon each of garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, and an eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We are going to add a little bit of salt. And then we're going to mix it up. Line the pans with parchment paper. Now coat each leaf in the mixture, but not too heavily. Spread the kale on the pans and put them in the oven for 10 minutes. While I waited, I fried the kale stems in butter. I found them okay, but not a great gourmet taste. I'll try different seasonings next time. Not crispy yet. This one is crispy. Out of the oven. Some of my kale chips ended up taking more than 25 minutes to get crispy. But it was fun to make and well worth the wait. I couldn't stop eating them. Another beautiful day at Glen Merrill.